Insects will cling to these little hairs under the lid, drinking the nectar. And unfortunately, the insect doesn't realize it, but it's slowly being intoxicated by a drug that's in the nectar. And the insects often become rather paralyzed. They lose their inhibitions. Sometimes you could even pet flies that have been drinking the nectar because they're so drunk. And once they get into this mouth area, it's very slippery. The insect gets no foothold and will slip and fall down into the pitcher. In the bottom, there are glands that secrete digestive acids and enzymes. The insects eventually will drown in these, and that's how the plant breaks down the insects into the nutrients like nitrogen, potassium, and many trace elements that they need for healthy growth. We're going to cut it open and we're going to see what, if anything, it has caught uh, while it was growing outdoors. And here you can see what ravenous, gluttonous pigs these pitcher plants can be. Uh, we actually have a few live insects like this bee and they're moths. Uh, some of these have been so decomposed and digested that they're almost unrecognizable. But it seems like there's some house flies and a lot of uh, bees and perhaps even some yellow jackets inside the pitcher. Um, all of these nutrients from the insects will be absorbed by the plant. And you can see that the insect carcasses go all the way down.